Nabob salutes Terrence Howard with the Entertainer of the Year Award. It just means a nice little stamp of endorsement from them, from the people that seem to have res responded mostly to my work and respected me for many years and been so supportive for them to give me this honor, you know. Um, I hope I can live up to it. <laughs> I got into this business, not because I'm trying to be a role model, but trying to feed my family, trying to make sure my father could have the health insurance and my mom could have a house, but as a result, you're lifted up upon everyone's shoulders or you stand upon your own, and when you straighten out your back, you realize how tall you are, and now other people look to you, and you become bigger than just you. We become a representative of everyone else and each and every individual, black, white, or whomever, but I'm primarily speaking about black people right now, we become a representative of ourselves and we have a chance to, to make a statement and to change the world a bit. In Lackawanna Blues, he held his own amongst a stellar cast. Ain't taking that child nowhere. See, that's what's wrong with your brain. They liable to come back here and snatch him up because they think you crazy. No, that's, that's why they ain't coming back here, because they know I am. And before I let them take my best buddy out of here, they're going to have to take me out of here first. Howard's resonating role in the Academy Award winner Crash earned him a SAG Award for Best Ensemble. Sit down on that curb, put your hands on your head, and do nothing until I speak not, with these officers. I'm not sitting on no curb. I'm not putting my hands on my head for nobody. Also a gifted musician, Terrence has often showcased his musical talents on screen. Terrence came in with his guitar. He wanted to play a guitar and all this stuff. It's like, and he wanted to sing. It's like, no, he wanted DJ to be a singer. It's like, no, he's a rapper. In my eyes, I done seen some crazy things in the street. Got a couple holes working on the chain just for people. Terrence's Oscar-nominated turn in Hustle and Flow has made him into an A-list star. He painstakingly researched his character to achieve realism and shattered a stereotype with his nuanced performance. With searingly honest portrayal, Terrence Howard cuts to the truth in each of his characters with unparalleled skill. Nabob salutes Terrence Howard with the Entertainer of the Year Award. I'm a so proud to present the Nabob Entertainer of the Year Award to Mr. Terrence Howard. You see, man ain't like a dog, that's for real, because a dog never gets the opportunity to stand up here in front of his family and his friends, even some family members that I may have never met before, a lot of friends that I didn't know that I had, but I just had one of my best friends, you know, one of the people that's probably responsible for me still being in this business. Um, Years ago, Jeffrey Wright, when we were doing Boycott, he gave me a very painful lesson, something that it's very hard for friends to do to real good friends because sometimes we, want, we don't want to hurt our friends' feelings. But he saw his friend taking some bad steps. I just left the set and um, we rushed back to the trailer. This, my last scene was over and we, were been, we had been playing chess for the last three, three months. And Jeffrey is an awesome chess player. And I was so quick to try and move my bishop out of the way so I can drop my queen down and yell checkmate. And I went to drop my, couldn't get my bishop out of the way and Jeffrey dropped his rook and he said checkmate. And he said, that's your biggest problem right there. You refuse to get out of your own way. <laughs> now I looked at my friend and I wanted to punch him in his mouth right there. <laughs> But he was honest. He was telling the truth. I thanked my friend. It took me a couple years. I had to go move into my garage because my wife didn't want me in the house no more. <laughs> <laughs> she had good sense. <laughs> but I got my mind together. 
and I started slowly moving myself out of my way. And I asked myself a question, what would you do if you weren't afraid? What was I afraid of? Sometimes we're very afraid of success because we're afraid of who it might show us to be, something so much greater than we thought we could ever be. But everybody up here have asked that question of themselves, what would we do if we weren't afraid? And we have answered with a resounding, anything we want to. So right now, I put the question to you and to your friends. What would you do if you weren't afraid? Thank you, and thank Maybach. HBCUX's The Vault. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter.